one of the debates in entrepreneurship is often, do you need to go really deep into one area so you know everything and everyone mm. in a particular area, or can you go wide? Mm. And Kevin and Ali Cop has taken this view of, you know, we have all of these companies and every one of them is doing something completely different. Mm-hmm. Um, how does that, you know, since you don't have depth in weddings or in, you know, database systems, mm. um, how does that actually work? I mean, yeah. So <clears throat> our point of view is it depends on the industry, right? Certain things in healthcare, you do need someone in-house within healthcare ecosystems. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they truly understand the pain. But otherwise, our point of view is that innovation actually comes from those that are from outside the industry because they're able then they're able then <coughs> to see the inefficiencies of a product. Yeah. There's two questions that we live by uh, in any idea, which is one, how can a problem or what's a process that is too inefficient? It's, it's costing someone too much time to do. Mm-hmm. Secondly, what's a process that is too expensive? And those are the two questions that we ask anyone that we interact with as we. And expensive can be not just money, right? It could, it could be, be time. time. It, could, it could be so intimacy is not expensive, mm-hmm. but it's but it's costing. It costs people. a lot of thought, word, time. Right. Yeah, and those are the two questions that we essentially ask every person that we try to that we interact with. Yeah. We at Alicorp host small focus groups. Mm-hmm. Uh, oftentimes bringing together marketers together or CFOs together mm. or customer success specialists together. Um, so sometimes it's functionally functional. Right. Sometimes it's industry-based. Mm-hmm. So bringing together uh, chief medical officers together. Mm-hmm. Uh, those who are often decision makers. Mm-hmm. And we ask them, yeah, what what is just such an inefficient process mm-hmm. that is very annoying for you? Uh, and or what is just too expensive uh, that you wish was cheaper or Mm -hmm. easier to do. And that's how Mongo came to be, Mm -hmm. right? Mongo came to be because uh, our companies then were using older existing incumbents like SAP and Oracle, Mm -hmm. and it was just too costly. It was Mm -hmm. too expensive. And on the engineering side, uh, it it wasn't a great product for engineers to query from. It took Mm -hmm. too much time. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, okay, is there a new form of a database that can be created that is cheaper, mm-hmm. had flex- more flexible contracts, um, perhaps volume-based pricing, mm-hmm. uh, and is better for the engineer that is leveraging, call it NoSQL mm-hmm. or open source, because now they can share, uh, <clears throat> I'll call it best practices around mm-hmm. how to use the Mongo database. Mm-hmm. Uh, so while it was a team that had not call it been it from the database world. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a technical team, though, that very much felt the pain. Yeah. Uh, so in every company that we've, that we've launched, it has to be someone, uh, it has to be a team that has felt the pain. 